you can now record, replay, and audit user flows with the recorder panel. Checkout is a common user flow among shopping websites. Let's see how we can record and replay the checkout process. This is the coffee ordering site we'll be using. Let's open the recorder panel via run command show recorder. Click on start new recording, enter coffee checkout as the name, then click on start a new recording. Let's add a cappuccino and americano to the cart. Then click on the total button to start the checkout process. Notice that the recorder panel is recording our interactions and show it on the screen. Fill in the payment details, then click on the submit button to complete the transaction. Click on end recording now to stop the recording. Let's click on the replay button to replay the workflow. Alternatively, you can simulate a slow network connection during replay. We can expand each step to see the details. We can modify the steps too. Click on the three dot menu. There are options to remove or add a step. For example, I would like to add a flat white prior to the checkout. Let's add the step before we proceed to checkout. Expand the step and change the type to click. Then use the selector picker to pick the flat white element. See, the selector's information is filled in automatically for you. We can replay the user flow again for verification. Once it's done, we can download the script and share it with others. At the moment, the recorder only supports export to Puppeteer script. More export and import options will be supported soon. Apart from that, you can audit the user flow by clicking on the Measure Performance button. The user flow will be replayed and the performance trace will be exported to the Performance panel for further analysis. For example, there are some layout shifts happening. Click on it to find out the details. To learn more about the recorder panel, go to goo.girl slash devtools dash recorder. That's all. See you for the next devtools tip. Bye. <music>